Color grading is for bad photographers. That's a very bold statement. Let's peel back all those layers. Let's check out if it's really true. First, we have to establish what color grading really means. You have to really think about it to say it correct. Um, color grading is a post-production process of alternating the appearance of an image. That can be photo or video, so we call it image. So color grading comes after the process of making your photo. And don't get me wrong, but color grading is very old. It's a, I think it's more than 100 years old, especially in, in videography. It's been used for a long, 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 long time. Not as you see it nowadays, but it's been used for a long time. So in photography, color grading is also very normal to use. Some photographers will state that it isn't true to the original subject or person you're photographing, and it's fake. And it brings me to my next subject. Color grading isn't really what you see. So let's compare it to painters. And let's take our favorite painter, because I'm Dutch, that's Van Gogh. He was a post-impressionism. He, he painted post-impressionism. So he's a post-impressionist, probably that's the right term. He painted what he thought he saw, and not really what he really saw. There's a big difference. If you see a painting, is the painting real? That depends. If you see Van Gogh, it isn't really what you see. The actually where I live is the place where Van Gogh lived for a while. A lot of landmarks here are, are been painted by Van Gogh and although I can recognize it in his sketches or in his, in his paintings, it's still different from what I see in real life. But if you look to the camera, camera and make a photo of something, is that real? Well, I think that you can take a real a photo that looks real. You can compare it to something that looks real, but it's never real. Because there are too many variables that make your photo different from the real thing. Like your, your lens or your the color of your camera, the color of your computer, but also the settings of your camera. So there's a lot of stuff that makes your photo different. And so it's an interpretation of what you see. Same thing with, with, with painting. Even though a painting, painter will try to paint something very real, realistic, it's still always an interpretation of what you see. Even we as people see things differently. So the way I look at the world and perceive colors and shape of things different from what you see. So there isn't a real thing. It's something that resembles a real thing, but it's never the real thing. And it's very important to know. And a painter is also a color grader because the painter is sketching his drawing and he's gonna paint over it. And he's color grading his photo, in this case, his painting. So, is a photographer then a painter? But you see how complex it is, because a, photog a photographer isn't a painter, but it does the same thing as a painter, because you're painting with light and um, light waves, so that makes you somewhat of a painter. But still, it raises the question, if you made a very good photo and you would color grade it, is the photo better, or do you make the photo worse? Should we separate photography and color grading more? So when people post a photo, they say I'm the photographer and I'm also the color grader instead of only the photographer. Now the best thing is to do is to look at myself. I see photos like I want to show it. So even my tattoo here on my arm, this tattoo, basically says, I don't know if you can see it right here. I don't know if focus it on my arm. So this is a doubling of this. So this is basically the same thing, but it's a copy of it, but it's a copy that's a little bit different. And that's how I see photography. For me, um, what I photograph, I'm very uh, aware of what I want to show people. I don't care about how it really looks. I want to catch the vibe and the feeling of that moment and make it a little bit better, like a beautiful dream. And part of that is my color grading. When I'm shooting photos, I'm already thinking about my color grading process. So even the settings of my camera have a lot to do with the way my presets or my color grading works. So even if I would give my presets to you, the outcome would be very different because you don't know my camera settings. You don't know what I do, especially to make my photos have that certain vibe. So one can't live without the other in my case. So my color grading is as important as my photography, but still there's a big difference. If I've got interns at my company and they start photography and they make photos and they're instantly going to Lightroom or Photoshop and just 
fuck the photo up. I don't want them to do it. I just want them to photograph and don't do Lightroom stuff. First, understand how to photograph and how to make sure that pre-production everything gets in the best way possible. And when you shoot, the things get in the best way possible. And after you start editing, you don't have to do that much. Your color grading comes second. So in my case, it's been, well, photography is still first, but the color grading is like a a perfect sauce on my dish to make it a little bit more tasty, a little bit more better. Color grading for me is just a tool, like a, a, a camera flash, speed light is a tool, um, like AI is a tool. I'm talking about flash photography, I got a really really cool course on my YouTube channel about flash photography, speed light photography, if you want to check it out, it's a three part course, very extended teaches you everything about flash photography you want to know so i will I've, I've been a photographer for a long time and i know how to use a flash during daylight or evening or doesn't matter how it's a really cool cool uh, course and you can find it in my description below so what i was telling you is like uh, a flash is a tool like ai is a tool and color grading is also a tool a tool i use intensely to make my photos look better I've used it in my workflow as a photographer. So workflow is um, the way I start my photo till the end product of my photo. So the, when I start thinking of a photo, how I want to make a photo and the end result that it lands up in a book or something. The whole workflow color grading is a big part of it. So I'm very curious about your opinion about the subject. For me, maybe I'm a little bit in the middle of the road of everything, but I still think you should be a very good photographer and first and then start color grading and don't be a color grader first to be a good photographer but hey that's just me don't take my word for it if you enjoyed this video and want more of my tips tricks sex all that kind of bullshit about photography make sure to hit that subscribe button like you're hitting the, the camera button to make the best photo of your life and don't forget to follow me on instagram i share a lot of my work there and i try i ask the people on instagram what my next video should be about so if you want to uh, want to know more about photography or other stuff hit me on instagram till next time my photo friends and remember take a lot of shots but stay focused <laughs>